Burbank altimeter 3022, expect the ILS Zulu runway 8 approach. And soon I come back like the RNAV Zulu if I can get it. Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of those tricky areas from the flight deck. Hollywood Burbank Airport, also known as Bob Hope Airport, is a medium-sized multi-use airport located in the city of Burbank, California. It is 15 miles northeast of the Los Angeles International Airport and serves as a reliever airport primarily for traffic and passengers in the San Fernando Valley. The smaller, primarily general aviation airports of Van Nuys, Whiteman Airport, and Santa Monica Airport are in close proximity to the Hollywood Burbank Airport. Burbank has its own Class Charlie airspace adjacent to the Los Angeles Class Bravo and overlying the Class Delta found at Van Nuys and Whiteman airports. First-time visitors must be familiar with the requirements and the procedures for operating in this environment. The frequencies to contact SoCal Approach for access are found on the VFR sectional chart. The traffic mix at Burbank involves the spectrum of civil aviation. Single-engine general aviation aircraft through air carrier jet aircraft utilize the airport. General aviation pilots who have never operated in this type of environment should be aware that they may experience wake turbulence separation criteria for the first time, both on arrival and departure. The runway configuration is made up of two intersecting runways, 826 and 1533. A straightforward system of parallel full-length taxiways are found on both sides of each runway. Almost all services, ramps, and facilities for the general aviation pilots are located in the northwest quadrant of the airport. There are several areas necessitating heightened awareness, especially when arriving at Burbank for the first time. The tower utilizes the extensive freeway system in the local area to help ensure adequate separation for both arrivals and departures. Extra time with the VFR sectional and becoming familiar with the location and identifications of these major freeways will help you and the tower navigate this complex area. If you cannot locate or are unsure of which route to follow, advise the tower and they will provide alternate instructions. Land and hold short procedures are used occasionally at Burbank. It is the pilot's prerogative to either accept this type of clearance or not. However, the place to let the controller know that you do not want to accept the clearance is not on short final. Let the controller know with plenty of time so they can devise another traffic plan. Both runways at the airport are in use the vast majority of the time. For the arriving aircraft, this means you can be sequenced with traffic landing on the other runway even when you do not see this traffic. Pay close attention to tower instructions, including speed adjustments and S-turns that may be assigned to achieve the appropriate spacing. After landing and while still on the runway, two issues are critical for safe operation. When rolling out on one runway, do not exit by turning on the other runway unless instructed to do so by the tower. Remember, you must have a clearance to operate on any runway, active or not. Also, while rolling out, if the tower instructs you to continue through the intersection, do so without delay. Do not stop in the intersection as someone else is using the other runway. Once clear of the runway and contacting ground, let the controller know your destination on the airport. This will help them assign the appropriate taxi route. Another factor found on the airport property that has confused pilots are the service roads that surround the movement area. Even though these roads are well marked, pilots have turned onto them thinking they were the taxiway. Close attention to pavement markings and above ground signage will help avoid this type of mistake. When departing Burbank, remember you are operating in highly congested and complex airspace. Requesting radar flight following until clear of the busy LA basin is highly recommended. As always, if you are ever unclear or don't understand an instruction or clearance, the easiest and best answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the unique hazards and other configuration issues at Burbank will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient.
We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Hollywood Burbank Airport. It's always better to know before you go. Mm -hmm.